the biggest hold up I see working with people on this journey, and I know this in myself too, the biggest hold up is the difference between learning this spiritual knowledge and then transforming with that spiritual knowledge. So we're gonna talk about the difference between learning and transforming. Now at the start of our awakening journey, we're usually brought to this journey on YouTube or sometimes if we're very lucky, we might be finding ourselves in circumstance such as we might be in India or something on a holiday and get taken down the beaten track and then we end up in a yoga shala or something, you know. But we, we tend to find ourselves nowadays coming to this journey and being introduced because we're attracting the information on YouTube or things like this, perhaps a book. Or Netflix or something because it seems to be the easiest way for life to get through to us huh and we can spend a good while good for me at least I spent two years you know going through what I would call an entertainment awakening and what is an entertainment awakening well it's not to devalue it because it's a necessary part of the awakening but an entertainment awakening from my perspective is the the learning phase you know, where we're doing lots and lots of YouTubing and gaining great comfort and great joy from the videos of people sharing on YouTube and some of the great uh, uh, people that shared. Uh, just in case you're interested, brand new to this journey, you have a few great ones, um, uh, Muji, Sadhguru. And when we're introduced to these sort of things, it brings uh, a real aliveness in the system, doesn't it? A real intrigue, a real curiosity to know more. And we can stay in this phase. Again, nothing wrong with it because something's guiding that, something larger than ourselves is guiding this part of the journey. We can spend a long time, like I said in, in my case, two years, just learning about these things. And when we learn about these things, like I mentioned, it feels great. It feels like some, a new life is, is available to us. And that is true. A new life is becoming available to us. And that's beautiful because somebody really wise once told me this, he said, let me see if I can remember it. He said, it takes really, 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 really good karma to even be allowed to get to know God. And what does that mean? Well, it, you must have some really good karma behind you if you're being introduced to what I would say is the final step. You know, there'll be no more after this, no more steps. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, well, the last, the first, I think, I believe the first words in the, in the Bhagavad Gita are dot 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 and now yoga, implying that it's the final thing we look to, because we try and gain our well-being from the outside world, and we look to friendships and relationships, and we begin to realise that these things are not the sustainable grounds for my well-being, and then we look inside, and then dot 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 and now yoga which means union and now union, to unify with the self. And so this is what I mean by this is the final step. But part of that final step is gaining lots and lots of knowledge, isn't it? And that's why something drives us to these videos and sometimes we binge watch them and spend hours, uh, I know I have, just watching, 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 crying sometimes. It's an emotional roller coaster as we're faced with the possibility of real change in our lives, but that real change does not come in the learning phase. Inspiration comes in the learning phase, uh, but this is how we make the difference. We make that leap from learning to real transformation because we can learn for a long time and well, we just don't change at all. And then we can sit there like, oh, whoops, <laughs> I'm too far down the rabbit hole now. Uh, I can't go back because I know too much, but my life isn't changing. And of course, we don't change unless we really want to change. So we need to have that want to change. And if we are beginning to want to change, this is a really great sign. But the thing that will create that change inside of ourself, that big step from learning to transformation is action. Now, action meaning 
not just thinking about these wonderful spiritual principles and saying, oh, that's lovely. And not just thinking, because sometimes this happens, I don't shoot me down, but some, I know this in me, sometimes thinking I'm better than other people because I know all of this spiritual knowledge. And then the spiritual ego comes in, doesn't it, and judges other people. Oh, you don't do that because you're not spiritual. And, and this isn't spiritual at all. And so if we're in this phase a little bit and we recognise that inside of ourselves, nothing's going wrong. This isn't another excuse to self-blame. No, no, everything's going perfectly well. But then we have to take action in the way, in the direction of the spiritual path. And one of those great ways to do that is through yoga, the physical action of yoga. And should you wish down below, there's a free breathing practice. If you're just getting started and you don't know much about this path, that's okay. The free breathing practice, just to set you up, something nice, light and easy to make you feel good inside and hopefully bring that deep yearning, deep inspiration for a little bit more. And if you want more, then you can also sign up for the one-to-one -one coaching. That's down below, it's free to apply, but the coaching itself isn't free um, because I have to pay for my services. I need to live, need to eat, um, but it's free to apply and you can find that down below. As well as a free community of awakening souls, people that are going through the same stuff as you. And if you want to join in on there, then you're, down, you're more than welcome to. It's a really good uh, social support hub and that's available down below. Back to the video. Because the physical, we're talking about yoga being a great action on the spiritual path, and that's how we create the transformation. We go from that learning step to transformation. Physical, uh, physical actions are the language of physical existence. Nothing is truly spiritual if we reject the physical. The physical must be a part of that. And we can find ourselves rejecting the physical, isn't it? And we see sometimes we, we misunderstand teachings as we don't need to act. And we just need to be ultra spiritual people and that's just not the case. It is for a while and that's absolutely fine. I'm not here to reject any part of your journey because I knew that in me and I did it for a while. And, but the next step to see real change in our life and create tr true transformation is physical actions. Much like the language of England is English, the language of physical existence is physical actions and that's how we create the change we want to see in ourselves and in the outside world because once we've changed in here for it to be true change for it to be a true transformation the behavior must have changed that's how we know we've truly changed when the behavior has changed and to do that we must create physical actions in the direction of that behavior that spiritual behavior and rather than spiritual thinking it's then spiritual doing and we don't lose anything in that we gain so much Sometimes we can believe that we're losing. Trust me, I'm guilty of that. And even just recently, uh, I've been very guilty of that. The ego still comes back, doesn't it? We get a big slap from life. Oh, ouch. And then we move on, you know. I hope this video helps. That's how we create true change. That's the difference between spiritual learning and spiritual transformation. I hope this video helps. I look forward to hearing you in the comments down below if you have any questions or anything you want to add or say. And as well, down below, if you click the alert button, first time I've done this, uh, then you should get notified every time my videos come through. I really wish you a lovely day. Namaste.